Hey everyone, this is Agent J with a video review of Grey's Anatomy, the video game. Always check the subtitle, that's how you know it's a game and not a TV show. Anyway, you know how every once in a while a video game comes around that's based on a TV show and you find yourself pleasantly surprised by how good the game is? Yeah, that's not what's happening here. You see folks, what you have here, like many a game based on a TV show, is a cheap attempt to cash in on the show's fame by fooling some uninformed old person into mistakenly buying it. Though, if that's what Ubisoft was going for, then they definitely succeeded. On a positive note, this game is, absolutely, positively, 100%, a game about Grey's Anatomy. Trying to say something positive beyond that, though? Well, that's when things get a little fuzzy. Okay, here's a plus. If you're a fan of Grey's Anatomy, the story feels like it would fit in comfortably with the show. The game is split up into several episodes that make up a small story arc that seems to me to be right in line with what the show's normal themes are. Not that I've ever watched the show. Now, the bad side. The game itself is just a long series of mini-games, mainly used to advance the storyline. In fact, the games themselves feel almost like an afterthought. As if the developers set out to make a creepy looking computer generated Grey's Anatomy movie, but halfway through they decided to make it a game instead. The mini games are clunky and fairly unfun, and they often feel shoehorned into the scenes. And what kind of mini games are they? Well, let me put it this way about 95% of the mini games can fit into one of two categories. Either they're horrifically disturbing, ah, uh, oh, oh, no, oh. Oh, oh no, oh, what is that? What is that? Oh no, oh no, no, oh don't put that in the baby, not, oh, oh, this, I'm not sure I'm enjoying this at all. What are you about? Or, they're okay. completely inane. Hmm, how should I get Derek's attention? Oh, how should I deal with Bailey? I do need to question the chief. Hmm, which one of these is an old African-American man? This is tough! Uh-oh, I'm doubting myself. Get away, sadness clouds! Get away! Yeah, you get the point. And the brilliant thing about these games? There aren't even that many. Over the six or so hours it takes you to complete this whole game, you basically get variants of about ten different mini-games. Some things change slightly in the later stages, they lower the time given to you to complete the games, or they attempt to make them harder in difficulty, but that doesn't really work. If you have any basic motor functions, you can easily handle this game. Oh, and one final nail for this coffin? They didn't even get any of the show's actors to voice their characters. I mean, the only people who'd really buy this game anyway are doing it to see their favorite actors portray their favorite characters, and now they've been robbed on that, on top of being robbed of their dignity already. Nice move, Ubisoft. Anyway, that's that for the game. How's that sound to you? Playing the same 10 minigames over and over again for 6 hours, all while taking in what is in essence a really long Grey's Anatomy episode without the actors of the show. Yeah, the things I do for Gamers Daily. Grey's Anatomy, the video game. Being a good surgeon is about being open to the unexpected. Gets a 1 out of 10. Visit GamersDaily.us for more reviews of mainstream and independent games. Join us on Twitter at GamersDaily. And if you have anything bad to say, visit the exit right behind you.